meteorologist Vin Crosby here up at Bogus Basin in the summer. I've never been up here. Joining me now is Paul McNeil. He is the director of the Nordic Events. What is that your title? Nordic Events, and in the summer I do a mountain bike and running op operations here. Yeah. Mountain biking and running. And speaking of that, the man's got his mountain bike and he's preparing for a race tonight. Uh, how many are you going to have here at Bogus? Um, yeah, tonight is the race number two of the community race series, and we should have between 50 and 70 riders. So explain to me what the community race series is. Um, we have a race um, once every week on Wednesday night. We try and bring the whole community together, and we have racing for all levels from some of the top professional riders to beginning riders. And we all come out and we enjoy riding a course each week. Uh, it's laps around either about a three to five mile course, and it's fun and challenging. It's a great opportunity for a lot of racers and riders in the community to come together and ride together and, and race in a low key, fun atmosphere. So three to five miles, all flat? Uh, no, here at Bogus, you got to climb up, <laughs> and you go across, and you climb, and you come down. L lot of, a lot of climbing, yeah. A lot of climbing. So for the, uh, so, so what's a novice, like myself, a novice, like an old man, what would be good for me to do, like just flat here? Uh, we'd put you in the one lap race and get you around the course one time. Yeah, that'd be a good link for you. And so where will, it, where will the course be tonight? Um, the course, we're actually heading up the mountain right up here, up the single track. There's a rider up there on the course right now. And we go all the way across the bowl here, across our Brewers Byway. And then we come down in the Morning Star Bowl area over here. So a lot of zigzagging and, yeah, it's um, a big climb, about 1,200 feet of climbing in this per lap. And, and there's some fast riders that will do it pretty quickly. And there's people that come and have a great time and, and make it just a good ride of it. And, Put in one good lap. So what do people have to do to sign up to get involved? Uh, we can sign up at our website at Bogus Basin and our events. We have it on the Community Race Series and it's real simple. You sign up, it's only $10 to race. There's never a late fee. Just come and show up and race each week. Uh, you can sign up for the series and get all kinds of prizes. The best deal in town for racing and a great, great experience. Thanks for joining us. Let's get back to work. Yeah, good luck with the races this year. Um, wonderful time up here at Bogus Basin. Mountain bike races. Maybe by the end of the season, I'll try. Gosh, it's a rough one. You see any animals up here? Yeah, uh, some people say they've seen a couple bears on the backside. There's been some mountain bike sightings by any time recent. Uh, seen some deer here and there. Nice. Uh, yeah. Well, this is a first for me at the top of Bogus Basin in summer. It is absolutely beautiful. Again, the lifts have been open. They said about four years now they've been doing the mountain biking, and I think this is going to become extremely popular in the decades to come because they've got it figured out. They've got the bikes on the lifts. They've got the folks coming up behind it. It's an easy trail, well, sort of easy to get to, and uh, folks up here getting some activity, uh, bogus basin without the snow. But did you see behind me? There is some snow left down there from winter. That pile down through there is left over from this last winter epic season. So weather forecast, been away for a while. Let's talk a little bit of weather. So we have clouds building across the region, cumulus clouds, all from a system that's back towards the west out there in Ontario and back towards western areas of Oregon and back towards Washington State. The next upper level system will move on through. It'll bring instability to the region, but no surprise, it's been a cool summer so far. Some more cool air moving in. Temperatures dropping from the 80s to 70s for daytime highs in the Treasure Valley. Not up here at the mountains like it is now in the 70s. It'll be in the Treasure Valley. And then up here, it'll be in the 60s and overnight lows in the 30s to low to mid 40s. So a nice chilly air mass moving into the northwest again. We will see, I'm sure we'll see our stretch of 100 degree temperatures around the corner, but right now the weather pattern is a slow moving weather pattern and has, uh, well, the trough, if you will, the cool air mass poised over the northwest. And it looks like this is going to be where uh, the weather will probably look just like this over the next well, week or so because of these clouds that are building because of the instability up in the atmosphere. So we're going to be giving you weather forecasts uh, more on a daily basis now. I've been away. I've been kind of um, 
Well, just kind of getting back into the groove since my pops died, and it's a little difficult. I will, I'll, I'll admit, it's been a difficult stretch for me, but uh, I'm ready to do some forecasting. I've got some new sponsors. Uh, we're going to have some fun. Uh, coming up here at Bogus Basin, uh, mostly on Wednesday, so if you come on up uh, in the afternoon, uh, evening hours, uh, or maybe the uh, early evening hours, uh, can be sure to stop by and say hi, uh, because I'd love to have you on the Weather Show at Vin Crosby. Tell your friends and family to subscribe, subscribe, please subscribe. It helps me with my sponsors. It helps me make a living. And if you want to say hi to me, I'm on the floor of Best Buy selling appliances now um, and loving it. I just love talking to people. So I'm going to get back to things here. I'm going to take a little hike myself and uh, take a little walk around and go and uh, maybe do some filming, some pictures for you, and uh, then head on back down the mountain before the lift closes.